Hello and welcome to the next episode. Today we're going to talk about Python modules. What are they? Often we can do something, execute some Python functions, for example, the function print, by just entering it in the command prompt or calling it in our script. However, there are many more functions which are available in Python through additional modules. Some of these modules, I'm going to give an example, is a module time, which is handling time-related tasks. For example, if you need to schedule something to be executed, or the module sys, which is related to system-specific parameters such as command line arguments, or the module OS, which is an interface to work with operating systems, such as running some additional processes and controlling additional processes, or a math module, which provides access to different mathematical functions. And this is something which we certainly need. Before getting into the details of math module, I want also to mention that modules can be created by user and can be reused in other scripts or shared with other users. So Python has this modular structure and let's see how we can utilize the module math. So in order to start using it, well, we need to import it. So the first thing we do in our script and as we say, import math. So now we can utilize different functions in this module. For example, there is a function which calculates factorial. And of course, if you think of any simple mathematical operations, it has been already implemented in the math module. So let me introduce nf, which will be math.factorial. And you can see that Python gives me a hint for the syntax. So I'm saying math factorial and let's say factorial 5. And if I want to print it, I just do print nf and run my script, which all well, starts with this print hello, and then prints the factorial of 5. And there are many other things, and I think it would be more handy to show them actually here in the IPython console. So I can do math exponent, right? Or I can do math square root. Or I can do math log, which will be a natural log, right? So if I do it for my E number, I will get to all of this. I wrote the E number approximated only to six figures, and therefore I'm not getting exactly one. And by the way, all these contents, like an E constant, are also available in the math module. Same with the pipe constant and so on. If we want to see what else is available in math module, we do the same thing like we did before with calling a help on different functions. We can call a help on the math module. So which gives some of these constants here and a bunch of different functions. Let me show a few more examples. Let's say I want to calculate a cosine. So I do math cosine 60, right? Well, it gives me this value, which was probably not what you expected. Well, the reason is that cosine needs radians as an input. In order to have 60 degrees in radians, I need to call math radians function. So if I do math cosine math radians of 60, I'm getting one half, which is a well-known number and there are there are many more you can call for example an error function uh nope, call an error function or you can call a log 10 and so on what's important about the math module that it works only with real numbers so if i do math uh, as qrt uh, 2 it would work well but if i do math as qrt minus 2 it will give me an error because the result will be a complex number. And actually, to use that, you would need a different module. You would need import CMath, the complex math module. And then if I do CMath dot SQRT of minus 2, 
I will get my imaginary square root. So it's not very convenient to carry these math prefix everywhere for every single function. So there are several ways to do about it. So first of all, if you want, for example, if you're using the square root, you can say from math import sqrt and you can call sqrt of two and you don't need to use these math prefix anymore. However, if you want to do the same thing with exponent, it's not going to work because we import it only as QRT. There is another way to do it. You can do from math import star. Then in this case, you can use everything, every function and every constant in the math module without the math prefix. However, for well, while for math module, this is a legitimate way to go or other more heavier modules, you don't necessarily want to do it. So there is another way to import a module, you can say import math as m and have this m instead of the math prefix. And now you can say m sine zero, right? 